Hey all, this is Rob with Bob here back again with another segment of Outside the Box. Today we're gonna to be going over doing your demo and your setup for your refacing. Uh, first thing you're gonna want is to have your tools set up in an organized fashion. Uh, for demo, you're gonna want a drill or a screw drill and a bit set, a hammer, scraper and a crowbar, uh, and something you can use to pull or break nails with. Uh, also a nail punch works uh, too. Now we're gonna uh, do our, go back to our normal section and this is the section we're gonna be working on today. First thing you wanna deal with is the appliances. Get them out of the way. Uh, so here we have the oven, these inset wall ovens, pretty much always when you open the door, you'll find some screws, whether in the face or in the sides that are attaching the oven to the cabinet. I've already taken out the screws. They were to the left and the right here. And what you wanna do is just carefully pull the oven out a little bit, slide it out just enough for you to be able to slip your quarter inch behind there, install that, and then you can push it all back in. Uh, these trim kits, they usually have uh, um, some visible screws that just like kind of start popping apart the trim kit. Some of them uh, clip into an assembly behind there and some of them just screw directly into the face. This one just screws directly into the face. So it's pretty easy. While Bob's doing that, we can talk about the, uh, uh, the drawers. Uh, what you're gonna wanna know about the drawers is some of, most of them are screwed on, some of them are not. These are screwed on, so it should be pretty easy to unscrew. Pops out all the, after all the screws are good, out, you're good. Be a good idea to break up, uh, uh, if you don't have it marked already in the paperwork that you use to do the measure. Um, at this point, uh, be a good idea to mark where the hinges are. So when you're rehanging the job, you remember all that. Since these ones are double doors, they're gonna already be marked on there um, that they're coming together in the middle. So I'm not gonna go and, uh, and mark what the, what the hinge side is right now on these. Now I'm gonna take off this door and kind of move on to the next thing while Bob continues to unscrew that. We're gonna to wanna to we're gonna to wanna to take off the molding. So taking off the molding, easiest thing to do is just to get your scraper, kind of look around. A lot of the times you'll see that it wasn't exactly put on straight or something like that. You've got some gaps that you can get into. Once you release one miter, it's pretty easy to just go around the cabinet and get all that stuff off. Got the scribe too. So right here, I'm just making sure that I get every single thing off including including the nails so that when i go back later uh and and sand this i'm not going to be running into a bunch of nails while i'm sanding this over here is a good example of the scribe going to the wall and when they painted they overlapped the scribe there a little so i'm going to just take my blade and just go down that paint that uh corner line right there just to break the paint that's uh, connecting that scribe on the wall there, to prevent tearing any paint off the uh, off the drywall. Now that demo's just about done, we start with our prepping. A uh, good place to start with prepping would be sanding to score through the old finish. That way, when you apply the new material, it bonds with the glue. You can score with sandpaper or. Uh, some rough surface, pretty high grit to, to break through the old surface, the old finish. Doesn't have to be a very thorough sand, just enough to score through it with scratches in it. Alright, now that I've gone around and felt every surface where the molding was on. There are no more nails in this section. And once we're done sanding, we're ready to kind of clean up the demo area and get started on skinning.